Greetings from the medicine cabinet. I'm Chill Pill, and this is Not Bad, the show where I take songs I previously disliked and see if I like them now. All right, we got two instinct tunes out of the way last week. This week, let's get into some uncaged tunes. This next one I've got queued up is a confirmation of something I said earlier about one of the other artists, specifically that when they first started making music, I didn't like them, but then eventually I came around to a lot of their songs. And this one I just never got around to, and it was their debut, Contra by Pixel Terror featuring Sarah Skinner. Contra just seemed kind of messy to me as Pixel Terror's tracks used to really have a consistent theme of doing in my book. But I remember the vocals being okay, kind of ruined by the production. So let's see if there are many redeemable things about the song because people were raving about the song. Everyone was putting the song number one on their rankings of Rocket League X Monster Cat Volume 4. And I just didn't quite understand it, but maybe I will after listening to this. We'll see. I like this Vox cut. Nothing to be mind blown about, but it's all right. This, I believe, was the debut of Sarah Skinner on Monster Cat as well. And she does a very good job on her vocals. Oh, this is catchy. I like this. Yeah, this kind of thing is totally what I would expect from Pixel Terror. Ooh, they do a lot of cool things. I can tell they put a lot of effort into their debut on Monster Cat. Oh, I love that. How they leave you hanging by putting the ghost kick in and then bringing in some new sound design. This is another one of those songs like Fire Away by Fractal that I can't keep up with. But they do a lot of cool things in this song. And this is something that you can definitely dance to. Okay, this is cool, I guess. I just don't know if it's necessary. But that solo was cool. Perhaps they were just showcasing all that they could do just to let Monster Cat fans know what Pixel Terror was all about. What they were capable of doing. They're able to really create emotions through their music, which I was first able to see in um, in Arctica, which is where most of my appreciation for Pixel Terror came from originally. Yeah, there are some things I disagree with in this song, but it's not, it doesn't overwhelm the song by any means. I mean, the things I disagree don't. The things I disagree with don't. Oh, uh, this is just as much of a banger as the previous drops were. I would bring the snare back in here. This just feels the tiniest bit awkward. That's what they're leaving me with.
Oh. Oh. Great job to Sarah Skinner with the ending. So there were quite a few things. I don't know that I could put my finger on them, but there were quite a few things that Pixel Terror did that I would never have even thought of doing, but they really contributed to the emotion that they were trying to accomplish with this song. I especially liked the beginning of it, like the first half of the song. If you cut it in half, Oh, oh, I forgot about the second drop, though, because I wasn't as big a fan of that. Not to say that the song was bad. I thought it wasn't. I thought it was a good song. I very much enjoyed it. I loved the little things that they do. Like, even if I don't like a Pixel Terror song, there are always little things that they do in the production that hike my enjoyment of the song up. So because this song was a bit of a downhill slope for me... I'll give it a five and a half out of 10, not because the whole song was that close to being mediocre, but just because I really liked the beginning portion of the song and how the song moved along. I just didn't like some of the prominent production choices more and more as they, uh, as they progressed throughout the song. But it was a solid debut that definitely got improved upon in later years. So I'm excited to see what Pixel Terror continues to put out. So this next pick is kind of an ironic one because I didn't like it when it first released, yet I've always been excited to listen to it again. I think it's just because the theme was very fun and it was executed in a very fun way, but I just found the sound design jarring. And so I'm actually excited to listen to this one again. It's Sayonara by Dirty Phonics. I don't quite know why I was excited to listen to this song because I didn't like it when it first released, but now... I get to listen to it. I've been putting it off for quite a while because I wanted to do it on Not Bad and get my raw reaction to this. So here's my raw reaction to Sayonara by Dirty Phonics. Whoa, I love that intro. <laughs> Those like strings or whatever are fun. And those anime screams. <laughs> that song makes me laugh. Whoa. Okay, if you remember Smog by Drop Tech and Borso, they did a similar thing in their build up with the sub bass, and he did it very well. I love this. You asked me to come say goodbye. Sayonara. I I like this actually. The sound reminds me of like a sword being pulled from its sheath. This is just like utter mayhem. Oh, what a banger! Whoa! Oh. That can be done so wrong. But that was... That was used right, at least for my first listen to it. I don't know that I could always be okay with that. But for now, I'm okay with it. I hope he doesn't do it again later in the song. I love that. Oh, I ah, just the sound design is so good. I have no idea how he does it. You asked me to come say goodbye. This is rhythm done right. Sometimes I roll my eyes at rhythm, but this is done really good. Sayonara. 
What was that sound? That sound right there, the growl. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. That was cool, whatever he did earlier. That. The, with the descending part. What's he gonna do here? Okay, that was really cool. I was smiling all the way through Sayonara. It's not trying to be a masterpiece of art, and it isn't, but it's just a fun track. It's a song that does a number of cool things that just make you smile. They don't necessarily blow your mind. I mean, some things really blew my mind on the first listen, but they're not things that I would have necessarily not thought of, like the longer fake out drop and things like that. I don't know. Dirty Phonics did a really good job with this, and I don't really f see anything that's necessarily wrong with this, except for I think the more I listen to it, the less I will agree with the production choices. So my strategy for this song is I'm only going to listen to it occasionally. When I have to lay out a strategy like that for this song so that I don't overplay it, like I know that it could be overplayed, and so I have to only listen to it occasionally, that takes off some points. I really liked the driving, uh, the driving groove that he had with the song, and he kept it going for the most part, which is great in my book. So Sayonara is a hit, in my book, I think I would give Sayonara, since it was such a banger and it was so fun, uh, but there are some things that I would disagree with, I think I would give it an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I think I would have fun every time I listened to the song, as long as I space out my listens a bit. Oh, this is cool. This is epic. The ethereal synth, I didn't know that Gamer could do that. <laughs> 